All right, so the mean value theorem also allows us to identify exactly where graphs are rising or falling. Let's look back at the last example, example four. If you look at this uh, graph for h of x, here we have a positive slope and the function is increasing. It wouldn't be hard to imagine that if the slope was negative, um, that would indicate a decreasing function. But as it turns out, this is always going to be the case, and so uh, we've got this rule. Functions with a positive derivative are increasing functions, and functions with negative derivatives are decreasing functions. Let's take a look at example so here we want to find all values between the x-intercepts for which Rolle's theorem holds for the roots of f of x equals 4x squared minus x to the fourth. And they say we can verify this with our calculator. In example 5, they want us to find all values between the x-intercepts for which Rolle's theorem holds for the roots of f of x equals 4x squared minus x to the fourth, and they say that we can verify this with our calculator. So we could we can graph this and verify that we've found the correct uh, critical values. So let's uh, let's do this first. Since they want to know, or or since they tell us that our interval is going to be bounded by the x-intercepts, I've got to find those x-intercepts. So let's do that first. So what we will do is take f of x and set it equal to 0 and solve. And so that implies that 4x squared minus x to the fourth equals 0, which implies, let's factor out a negative x squared. And that will give us uh, x squared minus 4 in parentheses equals 0. Setting these two equal to 0 respectively by the 0 product law, we have x equals 0. And this is a difference of squares. And so we have uh, x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. Now, let's find our critical values. So to do that, uh, we'll take our f of x which is equal to 4x squared, and we will take the first derivative. And to find the critical values, remember that we then set the derivative equal to 0. And I'm going to factor out, uh, this time, negative 4x squared. And that will leave us with x squared minus 2, in parentheses. And by the 0 product, law, we have x equals 0, and we also have x equals plus or minus the square root of 2. So these are our critical values. So let's take a look at what the graph uh, looks like then. Um, and so I will just sketch it. But you can certainly do this on your graphing calculator. All right, so we have an intercept at negative 2 and an intercept at 2, we have a critical value at 0, we have a critical value at the negative square root of 2, approximately negative 1.41, and at the positive square root of 2, 1.41 approximately. So um, what's going on with our graph is that it looks something like this. So our conclusion is going to be that Rolle's theorem holds for x equals 0 x equals the square root of 2 and x equals the negative square root of 2 between the x-intercepts. So again, like what, what is Rolle's theorem telling us? Well, so what it's telling us is that the x-axis is actually the secant line. That's the line that we graph between the two roots. And that we have, uh, we have values negative square root of 2, 0, and positive square root of 2 that are on this interval where the slope of the function is also 0. In other words, the tangent line is parallel or horizontal. And so this is exactly what Rolle's theorem is uh, predicting, and that's exactly what happened in the case of this example.